Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora, and thank you so much for watching. As you can tell by the title, today we're cooking, and we're making ceviche. Dude, it's literally the easiest thing in the entire world. It looks amazing, it looks fire, it looks bomb. Makes your mouth water just smelling it. Honestly, it's so easy, even a white girl can do it. And you're, they're gonna be like, are you Latina? Like, it's very that. Like, if you make this, it's so easy. It doesn't need all the, like, the fancy fish, the fancy shrimp. We're doing it with tilapia. Like, we're making, we're keeping it simple. We're keeping it cool. And it's honestly perfect for summer. So if you want to know how to make my super bomb, super easy to make, super delicious ceviche, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And without further ado, let's learn how to make ceviche. The ingredients for Gabriel Zamora's fire ceviche are three tilapia fillets, about a third of a red onion, nine, ten, honestly, ten, I use 10 limes, three tomatoes, three serrano peppers, a quarter of cilantro, you're gonna need half an avocado, salt, pepper, valentina salsa, and tostadas. Before we get into making this fire ceviche, I would like to give a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. This is the summer of storytelling and Audible has your back for that. As y'all know, I have partnered with Audible for many years now. I'm obsessed with Audible. This summer, we're gonna be going to the beach. We're gonna be picking up new hobbies. We're gonna be taking road trips with our friends. We're gonna be home cooking fire meals all while listening to our favorite titles on audible they have everything from rom-coms to thrillers to motivation they have amazing podcasts they have a little bit of everything that you might need i've gotten a lot of y'all hooked and obsessed with audible i want to put you on to my latest obsession big chicas don't cry by annette chavez macias i really wanted to listen to a latina author and listen to a latina story this title is so just emotional i know it's called big chicas don't cry but it made me real emotional like maybe it's because i'm a pisces and you know just always be my feels it was so beautiful this story is about four cousins four primas who basically navigate life and the understanding of love, loss, and the meaning of family. They grow up together, they grow up with their grandmother, and they get to like really just bond in that childhood. They're all connecting, they're all getting to know each other, they're creating family traditions, they're understanding love, they're understanding their womanhood. But then at one point, Madi's parents split up, and that means that she has to move away. And the connection with her, her cousins, and her grandmother starts to kind of like unravel, and it just becomes very distant. But then in the story, it goes then 15 years later and you get to see their lives and what happened in those 15 years where they're at now like Madi the one who moved away now has the perfect house the handsome husband but her life is in shambles Erica's boyfriend just dumped her and like literally work life sucks for her Selena can't seem to like find her place because she's not Mexican enough for that Latino side of her family but she's not American enough for like her American white friends, so she feels very lost and confused. And then Gracie is like a Catholic school teacher, but she has trouble like finding romance and she doesn't trust herself. Unfortunately, I don't want to tell you what happens, but something bad happens where they all have to come together and they reconnect and they're trying to rediscover that connection and that bond. And I think what's really beautiful about the story is that it reminded me that family really is like such a strong foundation and when you feel like you're lowest or you feel like you can't keep going like family really has your back if i haven't gotten you hooked onto audible yet you can actually listen to this title for free for 30 days with a new audible subscription or you can listen to any other title that you can find on audible for 30 days all you have to do is either follow the link that you see on the screen or in the description below as well as you can text the code that you see on the screen to 500 500 to start your free 30-day audible subscription i'm obsessed you're gonna be obsessed i partnered with them so many times and i've gotten so many of y'all hooked i'm letting you know it's so much like you feel better than like endlessly scrolling on social media for hours it's everything and thank you so much to audible for sponsoring today's video you don't really have to see my face that much even though i would love for you to see my face the entire time but let me show you basically how we cook this we want to start off with some fresh tilapia i got this at whole foods it's just the easiest. I know some people are a little bit fancier with what they put in it. I genuinely don't mind tilapia. It's just so good and so yummy. Honestly, I'm probably gonna do three. Three tilapia fillets, they look like this. Let's rinse them off first. 
Then you wanna get your cutting board, you wanna get a knife, and you're just gonna start to dice. You're gonna start to dice everything. Is that? Does it still have a bone in it? But I want you like closer, babes. I want you to look at me the whole time. Like, why can't you see me, babe? You wanna make sure it's nice and diced because the smaller the pieces, the faster it cooks in the lime juice. See, like even this, this is too big. Like you wanna make sure you get it real nice and little. So you wanna put it back in there. Then you get a brand new cutting board and a new knife. And we cut it in half. And we're gonna use a little bit over a quarter of the onion. You know what, let's just use the dicer. I'm not about to cut this up. This is the one that I told you guys that I got from Amazon. Obsessed with it. And just like that, onions are nice and diced. You can put that all in there. Like the fact that I used to cut onions myself. Like that's crazy. And then we're gonna cut up a total of nine limes into this concoction. Basically you're wanting it to be filled up with lime juice because that's what's cooking the food. Also make sure you're buying new limes because this will literally use up all your limes. And then once it's nice and prepared, and once it's nice and done, this is the first step. You're actually gonna let this cook in the fridge for about an hour in the lime juice. We get some aluminum foil. You just cover this little bad boy up and put it in the fridge. So now that that's basically cooking in the fridge, you wanna set about a 30 minute timer. At about 30 minutes, you're gonna give it a good mix and then put it back in the fridge for another 30 minutes just so it really cooks up. The, you'll know when it's cooked, when the tilapia isn't so translucent, it's more of like a very just white, like a solid white. But as that cooks, we're gonna start to dice up the rest of the things that go into the ceviche. Uh oh, period. This is the best invention in the entire world. Why was I cutting shit up before? Ain't nobody got time for it. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for it. And just like that, the tomatoes are diced. Period, baby. Then we're gonna do our serrano peppers. Cut off the ends. And I just like it cut down the middle. And this one I don't mind cutting. Ooh, that one smells spicy. So I did three serrano peppers. I don't want it to be too spicy because I'm gonna end up putting like Valentina sauce on it, so. And then we wanna do cilantro. It's already been washed, but. Ain't nobody got time for it. Ain't nobody got time for it. I mean, uh, what are you doing? Going to the gym? No, probably in an hour. I'm making ceviche. Wow. Cause you know, I'm just, I'm that girl. Are you sick? Yes. Okay, now that it's been in the fridge for over an hour, you see how like the tilapia is white now? That's better, right? Okay, now that it is cooked and it looks delicious, it's been in there for about an hour and a half. You see how the tilapia looks white now? Like it doesn't look like that kind of translucent shade. The only reason why this doesn't take like five minutes is because you have to wait for it to cook in the lime juice. That's the longest thing. Everything else, you just dice everything up. We already cut everything up. We have the cilantro, we have the serrano peppers, and we have the tomatoes. You wanna add that in there. 
Oops. Put it back in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you can add some salt. I use Himalayan pink salt. I like it very salty. Like I'm not playing with y'all. Like I like that shit salty. And then some pepper. And then you know what, let's add some more salt. And now to present it, we're gonna be using some tostadas. They look like this. You can get any tostadas. We're gonna grab this. I'm gonna try to put it on there. Mmm, that looks yummy. We're gonna grab some Valentina salsa because I like my very spicy. And you know what? If you wanna be a little extra, you totally can. You can add some tajin. And there you have it. Literally, it's done. Isn't it the best thing ever? And this lasts you like days, babes. Let's do the taste test. Dude, what if it's bad? <laughs> I don't think it'll be bad. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, I just wanna eat it like this. I mean, I live by myself and who's gonna tell me I can't? You guys, ooh, it's like spicy. Woo. That's how I like it. Like I like it to like make me breathe like heavy. Oh my God. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you have any questions. If you make it a little different, what do you like to add? Put it down in the comment section down below. You know what I didn't add? Avocado. Oh my God, look how pretty it looks. It's so green. <clears throat> okay, round two of taste testing. Now that I added avocado, we're gonna add some salsa. You know this shit in your mouth water. You know your shit. Girl, just go get it. Like, these ingredients are so easy to make. Oh, babe. Okay, round two. Let's see if it tastes better with aguacate. Mmm. Mmm. The avocado helps, like, not make it so spicy. Oh, my God. If you like this video and you like my Cooking with Gabriel series, Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or any other ways that you make your ceviche at home, leave it down in the comment section down below. I'm always open to like making a new recipe. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you can be notified exactly when I upload a brand new video. And until next time, bye everyone. I'm gonna go eat my ceviche, babes. It's so spicy. Bye-bye, everyone.